Low-level I.O. is pretty simple, basically. We're just uh, putting uh, characters out to a particular file descriptor or reading in from a file descriptor. Pretty easy. The read and write calls that look almost identical, and uh, they're what... The, as we talked about, the C programming language standard library use to perform things like printf and, and scanf. Each of the uh, calls read and write actually return the number of bytes that they really transferred. Now it is possible to get a number back from a read that is different than you asked for. If uh, zero bytes come back, uh, you're at the end of the file. If a smaller number comes back, then uh, that's all that was left in in the file. And then if negative one comes back on a read, then you had an error. Uh, same thing on a write. You had a, an error on the write attempt if you get a negative one back. Otherwise, if everything was successful, you'll get back in a return the uh, number of characters actually written out. If you take a look here, uh, read starts out with a file descriptor, which is an integer, and as we know, 0, 1, and 2 are uh, standard in, uh, out, and error. We also have a character buffer here, star buff, and that will be uh, a character pointer, star buff, remember. This is the address of an array that is going to uh, be holding our data uh, after the read. This is uh, the address of the buffer, where we're going to put things that we do the read. The number is how many to read how many bytes to read from this uh, file descriptor. If you put a 1 here, that's unbuffered input, and you'll read one byte at a time. Now, that's a lot of calls you're going to be making to read one byte at a time, but sometimes maybe you would. Like if you're writing an interactive game or something, you want to read every character from the keyboard without waiting for it to buffer up and do a carriage return, like you would get with a get s or something like that. So you need to just set this to 1 and read boom, 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 one character at a time off of the uh, keyboard, and if there are arrows or whatever, you make your decisions. Okay, write is the, the same setup. You have the file descriptor that you're going to write to, the character buffer, the address of the zeroth element of the array that you're going to be reading data from, and then how many bytes you need to write. If you're going to write one character at a time, that's fine. Again, that's still uh, going to slow things down. If you're doing writing, you most likely will set it to uh, the block size of the device if you have any idea. Uh, if it's a 4096 block or it's a 1K block or, or whatever it happens to be on wherever you're uh, you're printing to or, yes, writing to. I wanted to say if it was a printer, maybe you could set that to 80 or, or 81 bytes if you're writing 80 character lines for this number of output. So that's read and write. And that's the calls that we're going to use to trans for data back and forth. We're going to now take a look at a few more uh, low-level calls because if we're not in standard in, out, or error, we need to open some files, and uh, we'll do that next.